I was speaking to a group of medical officers in England, and I was telling them about a baby in our orphanage. My wife runs motherless children home. And this one was brought by the parents. And for seven years, we have not seen them again. You know, the babies, when they're in their mother's womb, they, they curve like this. It's when they are born, they stretch. Now, this one was born, and she did not stretch. She remained like that and continued to grow like that till the head touched the leg. It's a mangled human being that turned this around. The backbone is like iron is stiff. The hands and legs are stiff. If you want to carry the baby, the, the light, the light is her name, you carry her like women baskets that they use cane to weave. You carry her like this and you're going. She has buttocks, but she cannot sit. If you put her to sit, you need to support her with pillow on both sides, otherwise she's going to fall to one side or fall to the other side. If you want to feed the light, you go down and look for the mouth from down to put the food to eat. And she can swallow it, though. She can't talk. She, she, whenever we have guests visiting the orphanage, we carry her to go and hide because it's not a sight you want to show. In the University of Illinois Teaching Hospital, we are told that the disease has a name. But in this whole world, only three people have that type of sickness. And so where are you going to find the medicine? If you find the medicine at all, it will not be in Illinois. Once in a week, the staff in our orphanage will put this child in the middle and be praying and fasting. Praying, oh Lord, we give birth to what you created. And this is what you created for us. Can you, can you, can you recreate can you recreate? We are calling the creator to, to touch it again. For six days, you are making the earth, and you are always working on it until it became what it is. The first time, it was not. If it was good enough, you won't come back the next day, and then come back the next day. You are working on it every day for six days until it became what it is. Can you walk on this one, just one touch more? And they did that for years. And they were never going to say, because we prayed the whole of last year, and there was nothing happening, we are not going to continue to pray. You continue to pray. One day, there was a shout in the orphanage, a scream. Hey! And everybody ran out. And we saw the light where she was. And she was vibrating and stretching. And stretching. And stretching. And continued stretching till she finished stretching. Stretching full length. And while stretching, the, thing, the hands were also uh, coming up to normal size. The hands were stiff. The legs were stiff and curved. But they were stretching and flesh was also building on it to grow to normal and correct size. And stretching. And when she had finished stretching, she tried to stand up. When she has finished stretching to a normal size, what ought to have been the normal size if there was no problem? She acquired it on the floor. She tried to stand up and achieved it after a few minutes and took a step. And took another step and took another step and started walking and walked up to my wife my wife was weeping and walked to my wife and spoke she had never spoken in her life the day she stretched was the day she stood the day she stood was the day she walked the day she walked was the day she spoke and we never knew that all the time that people were talking around her over the years that she was here. But as if that was something enough you could hear and not speak. She got up and expressed herself. And my wife took her to school. Where her classmates and age mates were. And asked that they should move and create room for her. You have left her behind now she has come. And asked them to move and gave her a seat among them. And mysteriously, she understood what they were teaching. This cannot be normal. Then you sit down there and say, there is no power of God. We will leave you behind. It's as if God was making a human being in one day. And I said to you in this house that there is nothing God cannot do.